the timber mill at Kerry to the wharf Paratu. I rode the Parar Express way back in 82. Peter Jan the Dutchman is a driver on this trip. Said he'd take no passengers. I bribed him with the tip. He might be going the tucker box. And I clambered up on top with just the faintest whistle. Parara Express was off. Yes, Jan blew the whistle. The Parara Express was off. And underneath the coastal cliffs, through a tunnel rather low, now over miles of sand dunes, well that's the way we had to go. And getting near to Parara, old Jan now he throttled down, for the stream is crossed with trestles, twelve feet above the ground. The tunnel near the headland, we made the scheduled stop. Lowered down the smokestack <laughs> so I wouldn't get knocked off. Yes, Jan lowered down the smokestack so I wouldn't get knocked off. And he always ran the loco at full speed along this line, but from Windy Point to Fodderpoo, that's where he lost some time. For the waves that break against the track can lift and twist its length. Though they're built on trestles, triple brace to give them strength. Moving slowly neath the cliffs, past gates, both dark and dank. Stop beside a waterfall, fill the water tank. And stop beside a waterfall to fill the water tank. And three times he blew the whistle, and it echoed round the bay to let those wolfmen know that the express was on its way. One fine day in August, back in 1882, Parara Express pulled in to the wharf at Paratu. Brig Wild Duck was waiting to sail out with the tide. So I took a passage on them, <laughs> bound for the gold fields down in the Clyde. Yes, I'm gonna make my fortune, the gold fields down in Clyde.